in the good old days of Queen Victoria, steam engines, steam boilers, ships, chassis were all held together by rivets. That looks like a rivet, but it's actually a bolt with a rivet type head on it. These are often used for cosmetic applications on preserved vehicles. So what I need to do is make four more of them out of these bolts. At least the bolts are UNC, so they are Imperial. It'll give us a chance to use my ball turning tool and see if we can go about making four Cretan rivets or dummy rivets or bolts with rivet heads on. First operation is to machine the machine the heads round. This is good material. The high tensile bolts is machining pretty nicely, nice and tough. Basically, the bolt head round. I just face it. This is the ball turning tool I'm going to be using. It's basically a modified boring head for a mill machine. I did do a video on making this. Um, the cutter is just a sharpened end mill, a broken end mill. I'll start things up and we'll have a go and see what sort of result what you get with it. Quite a lot of material to come off here. And you can see it is cutting it quite nicely. put on by advancing the lead carriage. Right, it's just about there now. I think I'll speed it up, see what sort of finish I can get on it. I 
that's pretty good. Really happy with that. I just knocked that little pip off. We put a nice chamfer on the back of it, and that's going to do the job quite splendidly. Right, there you have it, one modern day rivet, I suppose. Very satisfying, enjoyable thing to make, you Very satisfying. It's just satisfying if I had to make a hundred of the bastards, mine, but never mind. I went to a car boat sale this morning, and the only thing of interest was this paintbrush. I'm just going to use it for probably just cleaning the lathe off but it's um it's very old it'll be a real a real bristle brush if anybody knows its original use be interesting to, to find out a strangely shaped handle copper band on there it's uh, there's no writing on it that I can see anyway it was worth going just to get that I only paid 50 pence for it See once again it's all in bits where the aprons off, the screens are out, makes it a lot easier to work on. Wash old plug in the back of the boiler. All your lagging's got to come off. And the surface rust knocked off. And the boiler plate's 12 mil thick, so it's then we'll be frightened to hit it. Just flaky rust that's coming off. That's some beer on meal coming this week. Um, the lad called Vernon, who's actually watched and commented on all of me nightcaps, has sent us still these welding clamps. Uh, adjustable, I like a, like a wool grip, but they open a lot further and you've got an adjustable bolt on there. They're going to come in very handy because I do quite often need to weld things and clamp things and it's difficult when you're by yourself trying to work one handedly. But I'm sure they'll be useful. So Vernon, thanks very much. Much appreciated. I mentioned a few weeks ago that I've been contacted by a company called Banggood want to know if I'll review some tooling for them. I've noticed when I told the YouTube lads have been reviewing some of that tooling with mixed results. Anyway, I agreed and they've sent us out a, a parting off tool holder, a blade, and a pack of tips. And these are meant to keep, the, the givers them, I've made no, no bones about them, they've sent these as a gift and I want me to review them. One thing I will do, I will do an honest and fair review um, I'll test them if the gear's shite. I'll just either not do a review or I'll just see what I think of it. Um, I'll bring the camera in, have a close look at actually what there is. I'm going to do a separate video, um, maybe just one night this week, 
just showing if you are in front of those pieces on the lathe, um, good or bad, whatever it does, you'll see exactly how it works. Uh, I haven't opened it, I haven't looked at it, so I'll bring the camera in. We'll have a quick look, like a little preview, and um, possibly, like I say, next week I'll be a, a video to, to watch, which should be, which should be interesting. Right, let's see what they've actually actually sent. Obviously, the tool holder. But it's a substantial looking thing. I may have to machine one of my two dollars out to take that. That looks like seven eighths. Comes with an Allen key. And here must be the blade. There's blade obviously fits into there. Let's see, I'll do a, a full review on this. This is just a quick sort of look. It's the first time I've actually seen the gear. I, mean, I have had problems parting off before um, and I'm using proper tips and a decent blade so we'll give us a try and see what happens. Quite a wide, very wide blade. These are the tips. Box of 10 tips. I mean, they look alright but what can you say it's a, it's a tool tip. And a fraction of the cost of what I've been using. Well, it all fits together. I'll, uh, I'll have a good play with it this week. And you'll know my findings, good or bad. Once again, it's just time to say a massive thanks for all the people who subscribed to us for all the well wishes that have come in towards my wife and uh, my dad and me with my arms which it's still you know, they're really they're improving all the time now um, anyway thanks for watching